are you guys binging anything? What's happening in that house? How are we passing the time? Because again, we're around each other 24 seven now. Yeah, so during the day with the kids, I'm usually trying to do activities because I don't want them to watching TV the entire time. And plus I have to teach them. So I'm teaching yeah. first grade in kindergarten and I don't even know what I'm doing because I'm an idiot. So I'm trying to be the best teacher for them. Um, so we do that till like lunchtime and then I give them a break. We go outside and then we'll watch like a movie, like one of their favorite movies. Um, but when it comes to binge watching, that's just me. So it's my time. So that's why I have my wine. And then once they go to sleep, I watch my movies. So um, I obviously binge what everybody's talking about, which is, um, what is it? The, the King. Tiger King. Oh my God. Tiger King. Are you watching? So I have three episodes left. It, it, it is real, but it just seems these could, you couldn't make that up. Crazy. So I definitely love watching yeah. like crazy shit like that. So we were, yeah. we were talking cheer. Cheer. Yes. So back, obviously this is something that has to do with your life. You're a part of that. Uh, and then watching yeah. it and binging it. How cool was that? So I've been obsessed with cheer. I've been doing cheer since middle school. I did all-star cheerleading. I was captain of my cheer squad. So it's always been like a huge part of my life. And, you know, when you get older, obviously you don't cheer anymore because you have to get a job and you got to be an adult and you're a mom and you have kids. <laughs> so when, when cheer is recognized like that, I just feel so accomplished because it's truly a sport. And the fact that people appreciate it now, I'm like, yes. So I'm obsessed. My daughter's in cheer. Um, she does like, 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 a, like a baby team. <laughs> How much did you drink? Oh, I mean, I didn't drink anything yet. It's a full glass. I'm trying to move. Okay, here we go. Let's move again. Okay, I'm ready now. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, but here my, we go. my daughter is obsessed with cheer, and I'm so happy that she she loves it as much as I do because it just brings me back to all my moments that I had with cheer. Absolutely. Who's your favorite uh, person on that show? Um, obviously, Jerry. Yes. Everybody's favorite. Um, but I also love Gabby because her – her um just every she, she literally embodies cheer and that's what i love about her are your kids into it well giovanna is but she lorenzo, is of course yeah lorenzo's like mom that's for girls i'm like boys do it too thank you so yeah he's not into it but Gigi loves watching it with me now what is this your fit mama a fit mama mama <laughs> Yeah, so I always strive to be, like, a very strong mom when it comes to, like, being healthy and being able to carry three kids at once if I need to, which happens sometimes. I have Lorenzo, Giovanna, or Lorenzo on my back, Giovanna, and the baby right. because they all want attention from me, so I try and give it to my kids as much as I can. So um, I try and be strong for that reason, but also I want to show my kids to be healthy. So, like, right. I make sure I always work out with them. And now that they're homeschooling now because of the quarantine, I make sure to do PE class. So, we go downstairs and we do, like, workouts or we go outside and we go running. We ride our bikes. So, I make sure they're always active. Um, but I definitely strive to be, like, a fit mom. <laughs> um, how do you tell people at home right now? Like you said, it is a struggle sometimes to get people to get active and especially get the kids active. But how would be, how would be your way of saying, hey, let's get out there and do this and do that? Um... Well, especially with the kids, it's easy for them just because it's like you want to go out and run around. Kids always want to run around. They always want to move. They always want to go crazy. Um, but personally, if you're, like, trying to get fit right now, especially in the quarantine, this is the time to do it. You can push yep. yourself now because all you're doing is sitting at home anyway. So you got to push yourself. Go outside. Run a little bit around your block. Um, you can even do things at home. There's a ton of videos on YouTube where you can watch and, you know, start getting your body moving. So if you're in that rut right now, this is the time during quarantine to get your body moving. Something, I mean, Jersey Shore, this is the last of the last for you, right? Uh, yeah, it is. You made that decision. I, I and... retired. Yeah, I needed to um, do what was best for me. And just filming that show was not the same for me anymore. And... You know, if I'm going to leave my kids to film a show, um, which usually we film for like a month or two straight, and I really don't see my kids and that really right. hurts me, but obviously, you know, it's my job and um, I love the fans and I want to be there for them, but it just became so dramatic and there was a lot of drama and like, I'm not trying to leave my kids to do drama at 32 years old. I was like, this is not what I signed up for. Um, but also as a mom, I want to do something different. 
I love my I love my roomies. Yeah, I love the show. I love MTV. I just needed to do what was best for me and me being in that scene. I just I was forcing myself to be there, and that's when I was like, I gotta do something else. Knowing the whole landscape that you guys has done, have done for television and where you started, where you're at now, I know I've talked to you before about everything that you've done for TV, mm -hmm. but how cool is it to be able to say now I can step away from that and be happy with what I've done and now I can do what I really, you know, move forward? It was definitely bittersweet because it was a huge decision. I feel like, you know, obviously everyone knows me from the show. So it's not like I'm saying, oh, at this show, you know, I'm over it. I love everyone there, and I love my roomies. I love MTV. I love production company 495. It just wasn't where – it's not where I want to be anymore. I don't want the drama, and I don't want, you know, being called this and that over a freaking reality show. It's just right. not, not what I want to do anymore. So it was a bittersweet decision, but I feel like my roomies understand it. And, you know, you always got to do what's best for you at the end of the day. So that's what I did. Absolutely. And we know what's best for you right now, too. I know you have a lot of merch that you're working on. You have yes. a store. You have a storefront. Mm -hmm. You've got everything. you got a palette going on. We've got the makeup. Discuss yes. all of that for us and let us know where we can find it and what's happening. Yeah. So I always had this hooky shop where I sold, like, all my favorite outfits and, um, you know, my silky slippers that I always wore on the show back in the day. Um, so like all my favorite items I, I sold on the shop.com, which I still have, but I always wanted to have like a physical store, like a cute boutique. So I do have a store in Madison, New Jersey. Okay. You know, eventually, hopefully I would love to get to, you know, different places. Um, but I'm in Madison, New Jersey right now and I sell all my favorite items. Um, and I can't wait to reopen, you know, obviously we had to close because of everything that's going on. Yeah. Um, but I love my store. It's so cute. It's so fun. I just moved to a bigger location. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. If you're ever in Jersey, come to Madison, New Jersey. And then, like I said, I wanted to have my store in other locations. So I ended up buying um, a boutique truck. And it literally oh, nice. has my, my face on it with, like, a big poof. And it says the Snooky Shop Tour Bus. It's so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> we love so, it. We yeah, need so, it. So I'm going to try and go to different cities so you guys can, um, you know, see the stuff that I that I sell in my store, but also, you know, like the Snooky Shop sweatshirts and all of that. So I've been, you know, working really hard on that, and I love it. So knowing what's going on right now, obviously a lot of stores are shut down, basically the majority of stores, unless it's an essential item that you need. Yeah. How does that work for you? We're going to continue online, obviously, and you do also have an Etsy shop. Yeah, so the online uh, the online stuff's still going on, and my Etsy store, you know, I make mugs for everyone, so I'm still doing that in my free time. Obviously, I have a lot now because I'm home, um, but it was it was it's hard for small businesses everywhere, so to have to close really really sucked. But you know, I did what was best um, for my employees and people coming into the store because it was a small space and you really yeah. can't six feet apart. So um, I'm actually doing I'm doing um, selling gift cards where you guys can buy it. It's in my story, actually, if you go to my page. And okay. a portion of um, those sales go to my employees' paycheck because, obviously, they're not working and I'm trying to pay them still, even though they're not working because, you know, they're in college and they're, they've become really good friends of mine, so I'm trying to pay them, even though we're in this, like, rut. <laughs> yeah. Know, the whole world is. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone that did buy gift cards because you guys are amazing and you're supporting my employees, which means the world to all of us.